whatever we're going through in life and our habits, how that shapes us. And uh, with this Feldenkrais uh, method, how we, we directly talk to the nervous system, which is like cleaning out all the parasitic, useless information in the body to suddenly put us in our most optimum state of being. And it, it's mind blowing. The, My father used to say that Feldenkrais is more yoga than what yoga is generally in, in the West and even in India nowadays. And uh, I used to laugh at it, like a few other things he said, but they, they all seem to be true, a lot of the things he said. And basically, we learn to, like a lot of yoga is about achieving uh, postures and how you can achieve them more effortlessly to sit uh, to sit still with a quiet mind in different positions whether it's something advanced or not advanced and with Feldenkrais without uh, thinking about it too much but developing a very special type of thinking where we think more of our innermost feelings and sensations being guided by pleasure and comfort and ease and things that our, our mind and body are just uh, craving for, really nourishing things, suddenly we achieve uh, positions without even putting too much thought into it. And it's a, like I say, it's a good type of thinking, which doesn't uh, hijack our muscles when we're overthinking, you know, it makes our muscles contact. It's a, you, our thoughts are suddenly become one with our sensations and the whole body is, wholesomely working together and the students would be able to feel wonderful connections with the feet, the eyes, our breathing and shoulders and hips and the joints of the spine and the hands and how everything's interconnected so we get a sense of doing a posture but really doing it with our whole entire self and not just putting ourselves in some position and trying to look good and hoping it's the correct posture because you know in Feldenkrais we don't even go into the world of correct anyway but we just feel good basically and through that uh, our nervous system and our inner workings they accept the postures and the postures much more we can begin to get even more benefits from our yoga practice which is already super beneficial. So it's a win-win. Notice if there's any effort in the muscles of your legs, is there any effort in your chest or your belly to be upright or in your back? How do the muscles of your face feel? Notice how you sense your spine, your arms, legs. Check in with your breathing. Simply take lots of good quality time to breathe in. And take all the time you need to slowly breathe out, letting everything go. And while paying attention to the breathing, See if you can simultaneously sense your body and sense the space around you. Okay, and let that go. And please come lay flat on your backs. And if for any reason you've got discomfort, you can bend your legs if you need to. Your comfort comes first. And just simply close your eyes and here feel where and how the floor supports you.